and then they wonder why everyone has trust issues these days. Hey guys, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 misleading video game trailers. Hey guys, I got you on my map, so I will head your way. Sweet, see you in a sec. I'll meet you up on the corner. Okay. For this list, we're calling out even more trailers that try to pull a fast one on gamers. We're looking at gameplay alterations, graphical discrepancies, and marketing elements that misrepresent the final product. All right, on to lie number 10. Number 10, Tom Clancy's The Division. Two on the left, uh, one on the right. Due to Ubisoft's questionable track record when it came to E3 showings and subsequent deliveries, many fans were skeptical when they saw the beautiful graphics and complex gameplay of Tom Clancy's The Division. And honestly, who can blame them? I can't see him. I cannot get a shot. Chris, can you mark him or something? Turns out they were right to be skeptical, as not only did the finished product look significantly worse than the trailer, but various features, like the Drone Control Companion app, were entirely absent. Maybe we should learn to stop trusting Ubisoft. Okay, that's done. Let's check out the inside. Alright, I need to hop out. I'll see you guys later though. See you later. <laughs> Number 9, Call of Duty 3. <laughs> The E3 trailer for the third installment in this popular series caused insane hype by showing gameplay from previous games and declaring just how awesome they were before segueing into a full CG trailer. The graphics looked great even by today's standards, complete with tons of rubble, exciting fight animations, and bodies dramatically flying through the air. As it turned out, the game looked absolutely nothing like this. The models were the exact same, and it simply looked like a slightly prettier Call of Duty 2. So yeah, it succeeded in building anticipation, but only to result in a sense of betrayal when the game dropped. Lucky for Treyarch and Activision, it was still a relatively solid game. Oh. All right, you're with us. Number 8, Pokemon Go. Oh, what promise this game had. The hype was through the roof for this mobile release, and it was in large part thanks to this stunning trailer. We watched in anticipation as players spotted and caught Pokemon, took part in trading, and battled each other in public spaces. Sadly, upon release, many people were left disappointed. Not only did the thing fail to load half the time, but the AR implementation was wonky and both trading and PvP were non-existent at first. While we obviously weren't expecting fully augmented Pokémon in battles, we were expecting something a little bit better than this. And the trailer was the reason why. Number 7. The Order 1886 The old struggle endures. The announcement trailer for this game was a thing of beauty. It was simultaneously horrifying and thrilling to watch these characters fight off werewolves in a gothic setting with badass steampunk weaponry. This led us to believe we were getting an original game, complete with creative weapons and hordes of supernatural enemies. What we got instead was a painfully generic third-person shooter with normal boring guns fighting normal boring humans. Sure. The game featured the steampunk weaponry, but they were used for a painfully short amount of time. Little more than a tease, really. Oh, and forget shooting werewolves in the streets. No, we had to fight them via QTE. Give us a break. Number 6, Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is undoubtedly a landmark in gaming history. What it wasn't, however, was what the trailer made it seem. Back in 1997, the CGI shown in the trailer was unprecedented in gaming. We watched these mesmerizing images in awe and amazement and couldn't wait to get our hands on this game-changing title. 
And then we discovered they had pulled a fast one on us, as in-game models didn't look half as good. The end result was far closer to the clunky, pixelated character animations that were commonplace in that era. The game is fantastic though, so we suppose we can forgive them. Number 5. Brutal Legend Out of the darkness comes an evil that will destroy us all. Brutal Legend had a lot of things going for it based on the trailer. A badass heavy metal theme, the hilarious Jack Black, and mindless hack and slash gameplay. Even the demo of the game seemed to adhere to this, as the gameplay centered on the fast paced fighting system. However, upon delivery, the game suddenly morphed into a third person RTS, and no one was expecting it. RTS games are a hard sell, and knowing this, EA seemingly focused on the more mainstream hack and slash system to sell the game rather than telling the market the actual experience we'd be getting. Yeah! Screw this place! Yeah! Let's get out of here! Metal! Number 4 Watch Dogs. Ouch, Ubisoft again. At E3, Watch Dogs was touted as the next step in open-world gaming, complete with gorgeous graphics and a complex hacking system which promised to put the entire world at our fingertips. Well, turns out that the graphics were subpar at best, and the hacking system, while still a highlight for many, was nowhere near as complex as promised. Gamers were massively disappointed, and it was even discovered later that the original graphics were hidden within the PC files. Silver lining? This allowed PC players to finally experience the game as promised. Well, at least in terms of graphics. <laughs> Number 3. Elite Dangerous Elite Dangerous is a massive space adventure filled with slow-paced and methodical action, trading, and exploration. This trailer, however, makes it seem like the next Star Wars movie. It bombards you over the head with explosions, lasers, and complex aerial dogfights that would make George Lucas swoon. The thing is, the game isn't anything like this. If someone bought the game based off this trailer, they would be in for a massive surprise. Sure, it makes the game look exciting, but all you're going to do is piss off players when they realize they've been duped. Number 2. Rambo The Video Game The trailer never made this game look good. Even when it was just a trailer and not a god-awful mess of a game, it was nonetheless ridiculed for its atrocious graphics and archaic-looking gameplay. But even then, it was hiding the real disappointment. The game is a rail shooter. Through clever editing, the game appears like your typical first-person shooter, complete with melee sections, throwing grenades, and shooting a bunch of enemies. While these were in the game, they were simply scripted moments, and not a result of the player's actions. In theory, playing as Rambo could be a whole lot of badass fun, but this is not the way to do it. John Rambo. And it's good that he's dead. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09 All Play there are only two opponents you need to face, and that's the golf course and yourself. We know. How can a simple golfing game be so misleading? Well, like most misleading trailers, through its graphics. The trailer for this 2008 game incorrectly showed Tiger Woods swinging the controller while his in-game persona mirrored his actions. And if you can conquer those two, everything else will fall into place. Thing was, this footage looked a little too good for keen viewers, especially considering the Wii's infamous lack of graphical power. As it turns out, the footage was from the considerably cleaner Xbox 360 version of the game, not the Wii. As a result, the Advertising Standards Authority ordered the ad pulled due to its misleading content. Come on, let's go! Nope. Did they really think we wouldn't notice? Or maybe they just didn't care? Either way, they lied to us and we deserve better. Alright guys, 
Thanks for checking out the video. If you haven't seen the original list, be sure to check out the link in the description. And for more gaming videos, you know where to find us.